Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on proof uh, trig equality here. Let's get started. Let's call this one left hand side and this one right hand side. I often tell my students if you have a secant tangent mix mixed with sine and cosine, start with secant and tangent because we have some easy definitions to go along with. Okay, so secant is by definition is one over cosine. If it starts with with s then it's 1 over c, okay, plus tangent is sine over cosine, right. From here you can see I have a sine, 1 plus sine x on top, and then cosine x on the bottom. Okay, this is as far as we can go. So now let's go on the other side and see what we can do. Left hand side, if I copy it down, I have a cosine x, 1 minus sine x. Hmm, it doesn't have anything to do with cosine, however, if I multiply by its conjugate sort of a way, then I can use difference square. The reason I want to go there is because 1 minus sine squared x using the difference square, a plus b times a minus b equal to a squared minus b squared. I artificially created 1 minus sine x squared here, which using the trig identity is cosine squared of x. Okay, now I have a cosine x on top, 1 plus cosine sine x here. Ah, this looks similar to what I had before. And remember, this is where I end up with on my right hand side. Okay, so if we split this one up, I have cosine x on top divided by cosine squared x plus 1 plus sine x over cosine or as a matter of fact, let's even do better than that. So cosine cancels. Okay, so this becomes, let's go back over here, this cancels. So this becomes 1 plus sine x over cosine x. Okay, this is exactly what I need because this is equal to the right hand side. All right, hope this has helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Please subscribe to my math channel. Together, we can conquer math. Till next time, have a confident day.